Welcome guys to another episode of Bed Wars today. I am literally just going to be ranting about my job. That's it. There's nothing special. If you're if you're waiting for a movie review, I I, I literally I've only watched. <laughs> you can go check out my other videos reviewing Kung Fu Panda 4 and Godzilla X Kong New Empire. I literally have not been watching movies, man. If you want to see more movie reviews, you can literally go back and watch my Oppenheimer or Barbie review or Indiana Jones. I'm trying to think of other movie reviews. Oh, I, I did a FNAF review. I might do an Invincible Season 2 review. Die. No. You gotta... Thanks. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm just gonna be ranting about my job. Uh, so I've been working retail for a very long time. As in very long time, I mean, like, five years. Bro, bro. It's on site. But, yeah, no, I've been working retail for a very, very long time. Very long time. Am I, uh, proud of it? Eh, I don't know. It's a job, man. I literally, I literally got the job because I, I needed the job. Like, for context, I turned 16. I get, I get a vehicle for turning 16 because America. <laughs> Hand-me-downs. All that stuff. Are you block hitting? That is not doing anything for you. That, 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 never mind. That, that did, did something, something for you, I guess. Yeah. I'm so confused. He, he did, like, no damage to me, and then all of a sudden my health was just gone. Scale. Yeah, so I get a vehicle for my 16th birthday, and quite literally, I needed money. For, not for paying off my vehicle of any form or anything like that. It was mainly for insurance and all that stuff, because America, insurance, uh... I don't know. Land of the free, home of the brave. I don't. I, I don't know the context of it. That's just. That's just how the system works. All right, you're. You're gonna die now. Thanks. Finally. Jeez. Waste of my time, man. Next time, can you please just like fall off the edge or something? Oh, this is actually a good spot. I, I'd really appreciate it. All right, so I had insurance I had to pay for and all that stuff because I'm pretty sure like that's just I don't know man. I'm an adult, but I'm not an adult if you know what I mean That is a thing that I had to pay for so I had to get a job basically because like I had no money Like I had money, but like I did not have enough money to like not have a job basically Also like paying for gas and everything because gas is also a thing So I, I don't have infinite fuel in my vehicle I I quite literally have to get a job to pay for my gas or you know, I don't I don't get to go vroom vroom anywhere. <laughs> it's kind of how it works. So I had to get a job and I was like, oh man, where do I, where do I go? And I'm like, I know. Oh, actually, I don't think it was my idea. It was just like my family suggesting it because one of the managers at this place knows one of my family members and not really nepotism kind of thing. More like, I don't know, just like, oh, they, they know one of my family members and they kind of have seen me before when I was like a child because it's a grocery store. And let me tell you, I barely remember being in that store because I barely did anything because I was just a wee little child. So I apply there and everything and I basically, <laughs> I wouldn't say I like crushed the interview, but I, I crushed the interview. I was, I was, I was good. I was good. I mean, to be fair, for a part-time job, it's not that special. Like, I'm pretty sure a homeless guy could, uh, get the job. It's not that hard. It really isn't. Um, no, but I, I start the job, and immediately, I, I suck, suck at it. Like, I'm not even kidding. I'm terrible at my job. Like, I just suck. It's not in the sense of, like, I just didn't improve or whatever. No, I, I quite literally sucked because I literally had no idea what I was doing. My training was terrible. To be fair, I mean, I feel like the people I met there, like, put on the facade of, they like, working there but after like a week of working there i was like oh wow everybody here hates their job it was actually insane the amount of people i could tell that just quite literally hated everything about their job does that guy have diamond armor oh yeah he does i'm in for a world of hurt rotating items block shuffler lucky chest wow i am screwed um we're gonna go with this should be adequate enough for me to not die instantly but i make work friends and i'm learning how to do things but oh my god oh my god i suck so another thing is since i had been i've almost been working there for five years is that um i've seen a lot of people go like <laughs> i i think it, it, it it's like nom flashbacks at this point for the amount of people i've seen leave my job like i it, it's like a war essentially it's like world war ii but it never ended <laughs> for me that's that's literally it because working retail is actually just 
just hell. It's not fun. You literally have to deal with upset, grumpy customers that don't get their way because of a coupon not working or something like that. Something dumb, right? Something really stupid. It's like, oh, my coupons didn't take off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get mad butt hurt at the people that just work here and have no control over the operating systems or anything like that. Does that sound fair to you? No, it doesn't. No, but that's what we do. Hell, I probably do it without even realizing it, but now I understand the pain of retail. I really do. It's actually terrible. I hate it. So uh, next time you go to a grocery store or fast food or anything, don't be a pain in their ass. Please don't. They hate their life already. You, you don't need to make it worse for them. <laughs> just speaking from experience, it's not fun, man. One like notable thing is like also when you're like when you're when you're slammed when there's like 50 people in line trying to like get through or whatever. What really sucks is when people try and buy things and their things decline or like their cards are having issues and then like you have to wait longer or like their coupons aren't working or whatever and then you have to like manually operate everything and change everything and oh my god. And when you're not a, a person in charge, you you. Do you can't override anything either and then you have to ask for help and oh my god it just it's just a nightmare it's just a nightmare dealing with all that i literally could not imagine dealing with that all the time it just sucks it just do, do I, I suck, suck at, at aiming? aiming i suck at aiming now thank you thank you is he dead all right thanks thank god <laughs> no i i literally just oh my god it's so it, it's mind numbing too because when there's no customers and you're like really what just happened? I just won. I, I didn't even do anything. Where'd he go? What happened? But I wanted an epic climactic battle. Seemed legit, I guess. I don't know, man. At least I'm not being haunted by that rabbit anymore. Thank God April Fools is over. All right, back to what I was saying. So when there's nobody there and the store is like really dead or not like dead enough, uh, there's a weird like, um, I don't know what the word would be. I guess like middle ground where like you're not busy, but like I, I, steady. How about that? I, I, I guess that would be the proper... What the hell? The proper term would be like steady. Like you might have a few customers coming through or whatever. But basically, you know, sometimes the manager will send somebody home early because like we're not that busy. So it's not that big of a deal. But sometimes, oh crap. Hello? How did you get that double hit like that? Bro, crazy. Oh, he's a god. He's actually a god. Oh, oh, oh. How are you getting those double hits? Hello? I'm actually so confused. All right, then. I ain't got a question, man. I literally fumbled that one bridge, and I just got destroyed. I didn't even get a chance to recover. I had no shot. No chance at all. Rest in peace. That's what it is. Oh, God. This gen is so slow. <laughs> so, when we're not busy, and we're kind of steady or whatever, we'll literally just, like, we're, we are required, required to go up and just, like, in front of our registers and wait for people. We can't sit at our register. Well, here's the thing, too. You're standing the entire time. There's no chairs. Which, I mean, yeah, fair enough. But, like, like, I think having like a stool or something would be uh. what the hell I'm, I'm so confused bruh I'm so confused man I am so annoyed and frustrated but whatever I'm just getting owned it's because my job man it's a curse <laughs> it's curse curse of working retail no literally when the uh manager sends you home early too what really sucks is sometimes they'll send you home and then we get busy and then you're not gonna bring back that person that just left no they clocked out they're gone there's no there's no like recovery after that so if you get busy oh my god it sucks because what are you supposed to do you can't do anything and then the manager has to open up on a register or something or like basically have to make up for literally fumbling that but literally no i think it's just dumb that you have to stand in front of your register and be like oh hey i'm i'm here even though here's here's the dumb thing uh, i have a i have a theory about uh the human brain is when they walk into a store their iq just drops to a one because for some reason they turn into like a hive mind and want to follow each other around for some reason, it, it's so dumb. It makes zero sense. Like, there will be a line of like 20 people. That's an exaggeration. More like four people. And then somebody will see that. And then there's like an empty lane with somebody sitting there waiting for somebody to come through. And they go into the line of already four people making it five instead. Like, do you not see that somebody else is open waiting for you? <laughs> they don't understand. I, I don't get it. I actually don't get it. It is an anomaly. It, it makes zero sense. Like, how? How do you not realize that there are other registers? There's more than one. You're dumb. 
You're actually just dumb if you don't do that. What are you doing? Do you have an iron sword? No, you have a stone sword, so I still have better gear than you. I'm just waiting to get chain armor, so, like, I can, like, oh, okay. Oh, I thought you jumped down. Oh, oh, oh. Thanks. Uh, chain armor. Activate. It, it, it's just dumb. It literally is dumb, you stupid. And here's the thing, too. Like, we have a light and we have a sign for saying we're closed or not. People will literally walk up to a register if the light is off, if they see a person there. They just think you're open. I'm like, are you kidding me? If your light is off, you're gonna just assume they're already open? No, no. Even if their closed sign isn't out, just assume they're not open to be, like, accepting customers at the moment. Like, you have no idea what they're doing. Just, ugh. Customers are impatient, too which makes zero sense when they get in line and flock to each other. It's it's just most brain rot stuff I've seen in my life. I don't get it. It's actually very impressive how dumb, how dumb customers are, man. I, I am actually still impressed to this day and I always will be. Um, what are you doing? Are you fu- Yeah, that's depressing. I don't know about you, but playing like that, that's some brain rot right there for me. Buying a sponge. Buy sponges in Bed Wars? Nobody, man. Just nobody buys fucking water buckets. I, I don't care about fighting you. I hope you know that. I can literally just sit here this entire time and I will win every interaction between us. I don't care. You know, we have aqua affinity, so I can just block in. Uh, I hate this guy. I actually just hate this guy. So dumb. So stupid. Whatever. Dumb. Just dumb. No, and I'm trying to think of some other interactions I've had because I've been here long enough now that they promoted me to like a supervisor or whatever. And fun fact, I hate it, but I accepted it because they offered more pay, but like I actually don't know if they're giving me more pay. It's very vague. Also just like minimum wage and everything, America, it, it's confusing. I don't know, man. I, I actually need to look into that a little bit more, but... <sighs> At this point, a dollar difference is not gonna actually, like, be the death of me. It, it really won't. <laughs> it's- it's so stupid. And then, to just- to, on top of that, just, like, the amount of, like, just- I don't care when I'm there. Like, here's the thing, I tell myself I don't care, it's dumb, it's pointless, it's literally retail, but then I'm like, whenever I'm in charge, or closing, I'm an overachiever, I have to, like, get everything done, and do everything perfect ahead of schedule at every time. I don't know. I- I- I, I hate it, I hate that I do that, but literally that's just how my brain works, I gotta, like- Because there's two different ways of how your day goes working retail. There's the day shift people, and the day shift people gotta deal with all the lunch rushes, the morning rushes, you know, after school rushes, and like pre-dinner lunches. That is when the that is when the store is the busiest. The busiest time is in the morning till around 4 p.m. Maybe a little bit eh, around 5 p.m. Maybe, maybe till 6. But usually after 6 o'clock is when BAM! The store just slows down, like, immensely. So that's when it gets really mind-numbing, when you're just working as a normal cashier. Thankfully, I'm not working as a normal cashier as much anymore, which is nice. I, I, I get to walk around and, like, check on things and leave my area, because I'm, I'm usually, like, up at customer service or something like that. No, I'm, I'm literally just, like, waiting to do stuff, basically. But I typically do more night shifts, and night shifts are a completely other beast. Mainly because you're tasked with, uh, or at least the cashiers are tasked with uh, facing and pulling items forward on the shelves and everything which you would think that'd be a stalker thing to do but stalkers do that too but they do it for the like other aisles it, it's weird like stalkers do like half the aisles or whatever this guy just literally fell into the void so the stalkers do like how many aisles do i have in my store again i don't know like 14 15 something like that i don't know they do like half of that and we do the other half we do like one through eight or one through seven or something like that and usually so before i was promoted as a supervisor i quite literally i was the fastest one i overachieved in that i was always the fastest one i would chew i would ask to do the more difficult ones that would take longer and typically new people when they start they take like an hour and a half to do the new aisles for me it takes like 15 minutes i've gotten too fast man they, they had to nerf me by, by promoting me as a supervisor and i'm like bro i just i just want to do all the aisles man i i just don't i i i'm just so fast i'm literally barry allen i am barry allen i am too fast i am wally west in this mother effa i i am so fast when it comes to pulling items forward it, it's actually crazy because uh the worst aisles are typically like canned foods ketchup and like sauces and stuff like that so I, I i literally just demolish those aisles in like 10 to 15 minutes it's a ridiculous i i don't know how i'm just the fastest man alive all of a sudden it's dumb but i don't know i like enjoy i enjoy it too mainly because it, it gets me away from the front end and god it's just so mind numbing green please don't fafo i will literally thank you thank you we're not going to talk about how I almost just died right there. 
Oh, oh. Uh, I'm gonna go right green bed. I don't care. Don't care. We just needed to do something, man. I've been trapped there for so long. Bro, got potions. All right, there we go. But literally mind numbing. But I usually have to delegate people to do that for me, and it's annoying that like you know the the people that are under me or whatever they're not like fast. Well, okay, to be fair, some of them are actually pretty good at their job, and I, I I like them as people because usually they're the nighttime people are younger, as in like my age. Because usually day shift people are typically either students that are still in like high school or something or like eh, maybe college as well but the thing is like they have a morning time schedule they don't have like a sleepy schedule or whatever you're welcome green that was actually really convenient so typically it's older people in the morning and usually younger people at night you might have an occasional like boomer in, at night or something like that but typically it is younger college students or something or high school students working at night which is nice because one socialization is not that hard when you talk to people that are literally like around the same age as you and then memes man i'm just talking about random topics that are entertaining and relatable thankfully thank god because old people man i i, I can't socialize with them because i'm like what do i talk about do i talk about franz ferdinand like what do i do <laughs> franz ferdinand i don't know world war ii <laughs> jfk like what am i supposed to talk about with them i have no idea also green how have you not gotten this guy's bed bro moment uh diamond armor because fuck you um uh, yeah bulls fireballs so yeah no I, I prefer talking with younger people because i can literally talk about literally anything I can, I can talk about lethal company i could talk about powell world i can talk about anything dumb recently going on on social media like anything it does not matter it's great it's actually amazing but no it's as for just the job itself i i definitely would not recommend it for uh for a first time job i don't know manual labor is honestly more entertaining to me than working retail which is crazy to say but i would honestly do manual labor all day then work retail for eight hours i me personally from my experience it's just more fun doing labor also green how did you fail that bruh i don't even know whatever does red have diamond red does have diamonds so probably get milk yeah but by far very mind-numbing job definitely would not well i mean if you're trying to get a first-time job and you're not good at labor then yeah retail would probably work best for you just to get it out of the way you know it's just not gonna be a good time uh, from my experiences it's just not good at all okay is there any cool items or funny little he he's i control this guy with or should i just yeah fuck it i'm just gonna get pearls but literally not fun uh one experience i had actually was a uh, we have a liquor department for all the alcoholics there all my alcoholics in chat which i hope i don't have a lot of please don't be it's not good for you to drink that much over drinking is a serious problem <laughs> Uh, he probably knows I'm going into this, but whatever. Oh, his, his water's gone. Yes, thank God. Oh, wait, you place more water? Okay. How am I on fire? Very confusing, but okay. Hello. Hey. Found it funny too, because this guy broke my bed forever ago and I simply refused to die. But uh, one day, some guy literally came in, was asking for some certain type of liquor or was saying like, oh, hey, the price like this is supposed to be that. And another thing that was really dumb that my store introduced was digital coupons. We removed paper coupons entirely. They don't exist anymore. They are literally gone. Myth, fabric, no, no, destroyed, reduced to atoms. Doesn't exist. Literally gone. Does not exist anymore. And quite literally, oh my God. The, the majority demographic shoppers at my store specifically are older people. So terrible. All of them were pissed, outraged, but obviously it's it's a company thing. It's based on the company. Like we have zero control. We're like we are like have zero creative or any output or control of any of that stuff. So like we had zero choice about switching over to digital coupons. Like that is literally what the corporate policy was doing and mandating so like we literally could do nothing about what the hell but um uh, yeah no everybody was outraged they were mad about it but it's like again can't really do anything about it it's just what 
the corporate system is for stores. You just kind of follow what the, the boss says. And this guy comes in and there's like some sale on some certain alcohol or whatever. Something like that, right? And, you know, he was waiting for the liquor clerk to oh my god i just destroyed that man he had a family but what is it the liquor clerk wasn't there they were like on their break or something and i explained to him to, about that and i'm like oh yeah i can ring your stuff up right here because i was working as a supervisor so i was at the customer service desk so i was helping people with all that stuff or whatever if they were having any issues and he explained oh this should be as a, i think it rung up as like 30 dollars and he's like oh it should be 20 and i'm like oh let me go check and then i checked it out i'm like oh it's with the digital thing and also with like a loyalty card or whatever you could save more and i was like oh do you have either of these so i'm like and he's like no i'm like oh but then you you don't get that price then because you don't have the loyalty card or the digital coupons it's, not, it's just not applicable we can't like we need that's required for certain prices to go down or whatever to be off and he's like well that's stupid blah 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 i'd like to see your manager and i'm like yeah i can call him i can call him up and he's like yeah let me see uh, I, I, i'm trying to think of a fake name because i'm not trying to expose anybody so we'll say we'll call him joe joe was my first store director or at least the store director that was there when i I first started and uh joe got fired by corporate so he hasn't been there for like three years i'm on my fourth store director it's crazy my fourth store director we're gonna call him bob he was working that day so i call him up and he takes like five years to get there because he also hates his job because you know realistically that makes sense it, it totally does but you know he's just good enough not good enough he's good at his job but like he hates his job so quite literally i call him up but he takes like five years anyways to show up anyways so i, I knew he was gonna take forever but the guy was like oh Joe doesn't work here anymore and I'm like no he hasn't worked here for like three years and the guy's like all right whatever and then just left he didn't even buy the bottle of booze or whatever that was on sale because he was just mad butthurt about it and just he was just being confrontational for no reason that's another thing it's like we're not trying to be your enemy here man like we have nothing against you we are just doing our job like I am sorry that we don't get to control any of the prices of anything I am serious we do not hate you wait was that a final kill oh it was I didn't even realize I'm an idiot it it's just so dumb because everybody that comes into the store just thinks we're out to get them. Like it's on site kind of thing. It's white team. Oh, white has a bed. Da -da -da. There we go. Yeah, but it's just frustrating to witness. <laughs> How did I clutch that? It's very frustrating having to deal with customers that think we're like against them. Like we literally want them to suffer or something. And I'm like, no, no, you're literally doing our jobs. We don't want to get fired, man. Did I just win? subscribe for that please that was that was actually the cleanest win of my life i literally just won it what? uh i think i'll end it off there of moral of the story retail sucks if you're gonna do it you're gonna have an iron will i don't recommend it for most people but that was another episode of bed wars guys i hope you liked it subscribe like comment all that stuff and i'll see you in the next video don't forget to hit the join button and yeah i'll see you in the next thing bye